So, um, we're going to go back, we're going to the corner, and we're going to move. Um, maybe, let, let me say something before you go, though. So, yesterday what I tried to bring was a circle that more or less held together as a unified whole. There was kind of a story that held it all together. Today is going to be um, a backing off from that, more just individual things that you can do. And again, these are first, second, third grade activities um, uh, that, you know, that have different variations that can be done with them. So I just, I want to give you that. And then tomorrow, I'll focus much more on third grade activities, more Hebrew dances and, and that kind of thing. So today is a little bit more of a hodgepodgey day. And here we go. Come, follow, 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 follow me. Whither shall I follow, follow, follow? Whither shall I follow, follow thee? To the green wood, to the green wood, to the green wood, green wood tree. Okay, everybody, imagine that your food is going to stay nice and low in your body. <laughs> okay. Have you ever heard of the seven, the seven? Have you ever heard of the seven jumps? They say I cannot dance, dance, dance. I can dance like a nobleman. That is one. Have you ever heard of the seven, the seven? Have you ever heard of the seven jumps? They say I cannot dance, dance, dance. I can dance like a nobleman. That is one, that is two. Have you ever heard of the seven, the seven? Have you ever heard of the seven jumps? They say I cannot dance, dance, dance. I can dance like a nobleman. That is one, that is two, that is three. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the seven, the seven? Have you ever heard of the seven jumps? They say I cannot dance, dance, dance. I can dance like an old bullman. That is one, that is two, that is three, that is four. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the seven, the seven? Have you ever heard of the seven jumps? They say I cannot dance, dance, dance. I can dance like a noble man. That is one, that is two, that is three, that is four, that is five. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the seven, the seven? Have you ever heard of the seven jumps? They say again, I dance, dance, dance. I can dance like a nobleman. That is one, that is two, that is three, that is four, that is five, that is six. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the seven, the seven? Have you ever heard of the seven jumps? They say, I cannot dance, dance, dance. I can dance like the nobleman. That is one, that is two, that is three, that is four, that is five. That is six. That is seven. What? No, that's when you just fall over. Okay, everybody, awake. <laughs> All right. So let's do. Um, okay, <clears throat> this one, I sh I probably could have done yesterday. This is. Uh, 
what could be brought in first grade and then used uh, down, the lo down the line as a, a rhythmical thing for the three times tables. So you want to turn to your right. And you, uh, some of you probably know this verse, if not everyone. Brave and true will I be. Each good deed sets me free. I will strive for the right. I will conquer the wrong. So you can see where that can go is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now just on the on the multiples of three. 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. Okay, and now, just so you can see where you can go with that, is now we can go backwards. So we're at 36, 33, 30, 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, done. Okay? So lots of variations there. Um, count off 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Again? 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, so face your partner. And how many of you uh, can sing Miss Mary Mac? Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. Okay, so this is probably the, the basic of the hand clapping gesture. So it's going to be legs, clap, right to right, clap, left to left, clap, together, clap, and repeat. Okay? So let's just, let's just do the clap first. Clap, together, right, left, together, clap, thighs. Okay, one more time. <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay, thighs, clap, right, clap, left, clap, together, clap, thighs, clap, right, clap, left, clap, together, clap, thighs. Good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, mother, mother for 50 cents, cents, cents to see the elephant, elephant, elephant jump over the fence, fence. He jumped so high, 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 he reached the sky, 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 and he never came back, back, back to the of July, 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 okay, yeah, of July, 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 low, low, he stopped his toe, toe, yeah, and so, yeah, you can take that, and so what I did with the, the hand clapping things was, again, I would start with something simple, and then over time, I would add further steps to make it more difficult. So I might start with that. And then I think what I followed that with several, so I might do a hand clapping in a circle and then I might pull it out for the next block. And then I would insert something like it, only a little bit more difficult in the, in the following block. So there was always that time where I would present and then allow it to go to sleep and then present a, a a transition into something else with it. So, um, and I don't remember exactly how, this was the, uh, a sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, 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 but all that he could. But what I did was, so I started with them just doing the basic hand clapping with a partner, but I had them in a tight circle so that at the end of the one verse, they spun around <laughs> and they did the next verse with the person behind them. And so I just kept kind of making it more challenging, more difficult. And then the next 
hand clapping thing, then I might throw in a different um, system of this or have the elbows thrown in or whatever. So always, you know, kind of keeping it, you know, ratcheting up as you go. Pitter, patter, bolt. Shoe the little colt. First one foot and then the other. Pitter, patter, bolt. And we can also do it behind. Pitter, patter, bolt. Shoe the little colt. First one foot and then the other. Pitter, patter, bolt. And then, of course, they always want to do that much faster, so it's pitter, patter, but you want to be careful. They'll want to speed it up, and it's fine if they do, but if they start falling out of the capacity to do it well, then you've got to slow it back down again, okay? Um, okay, and then there's a couple really fun little dances, kind of story dances. So let's do, uh, we can all line up on this wall, and we're going to move that way as a line. So we're facing this way. And this is called Great Big House. Anybody know it? <coughs> okay. So um, let me just you, stay where you are. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm just going to do it facing you. And you just do what I'm doing, only opposite. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every story in that house filled with pumpkin pie. Okay, just that much. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every story in that house filled with pumpkin pie. Went down to the old mill stream to fetch a pail of water. One arm round my darling wife, the other round my daughter. So let's just do that much. <laughs> Went down to the old mill stream to fetch a pail of water. One arm round my darling wife, the other round my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling wife, Fare thee well, my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling wife, with the golden slippers on her. Okay, so let's do it from the beginning. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every story in that house filled with pumpkin pie. Went down to the old mill stream to fetch a pail of water. One arm round my darling wife, the other round my daughter. And you're actually going to put your arms around you each do? other when okay. you do that. Yeah. I thought we did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Midwesterners all afraid of <laughs> Fare thee well, my darling wife. Fare thee well, my daughter. Fare thee well, my darling wife, with the golden slippers on her. Yeah? That's a fun one. Okay, and then the other one will be in a circle for her. And uh, my class loved to do this one in first grade, and we still did it a little bit every now and then in second grade. So this is, oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me? No? Okay. <laughs> so uh, this one, there's a little bit of an imagination. In the middle of the room is grandfather's trunk, and in it are all of these clothing articles. And so this, uh, there will be... Um, a maiden in the story and a soldier in the story. So who would like to be the maiden? Okay. And who would like to be the soldier? In that case. <laughs> okay. All right. So maiden and soldier. So here's how it goes. So everybody holds hands. And so there's a little bit of movement and then there's a little bit of acting out. So you'll see as it goes. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, fife, and drum? Oh, no, sweet maid, I cannot marry thee, for I have no... Now, this is where um, it's going to go into articles of clothing. So, for I have no boots to put on. So up she went to her grandfather's trunk, and she pulled out some boots of the very, very best. And the soldier 
put them on. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, fife, and drum? Oh, no, sweet maid, I cannot marry thee, for I have no shirt to put on. So up she went to her grandfather's trunk, and she pulled out a shirt of the very, very best, and the soldier put it on. So it's a nice thing too is instead of always going to the left is you can alternate each time going left and right. So oh soldier, soldier won't you marry me with your musket, fife and drum. Oh no sweet maid I cannot marry thee for I have no to put on. So up she went to her grandfather's trunk and she pulled out a hat of the very, very best and the soldier put it on. Oh soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, fife and drum? Oh no, sweet maid, I cannot marry thee for I have no jacket of to put on. So up she went to her grandfather's trunk and she pulled up a jacket of the very, very best and the soldier put it on. Now, just listen to this last one. We're going to go this way, right? Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me? For, uh, with your musket, fife, and drum. Oh, no, sweet maid, I cannot marry thee, for I have a wife of my own. Ouch. Make sure it's nice. So, and, and so the first time you do this, you kind of have to walk them through it, but then they'll want to go into socks, gloves, uh, you know, a necktie, a scarf, all these different articles underwear. of clothing, underwear, you name it. And, and you can, you know, you can say, okay, this time I'm going to point to who's going to be the next soldier and the next maiden. And so it doesn't always have to be the same person throughout the whole circle. It can alternate. Um, it doesn't have to be the, the, the right gender. I mean, it's all totally for fun. And it's, and, um, so, so there you go. Oh, soldier, soldier. I had a hard time with the whole musket thing, mm -hmm. just because. Well, it's a hard one for them to go from this to this to this. I mean, that's a good challenging spatial thing going on. But I, I wasn't sure I wanted to present the picture of, of uh, guns to a first grade. That was my, you know, my my challenge with it was was that. Okay, so this is this is another this is a good Halloween first grade circle, um, and it's kind of just singing a little story with some movement with it. Oh, once I went to Bushla B. That place was very bad for me. I went to a house with windows three. So just move with me so it can be a little bigger. I went to a house with windows three and witches looking out at me. The first one said, come drink with me. The second one said, come eat with me. The third one took a great millstone and threw it at my right shin bone. Ouch, ouch, I said, you're hurting me. I'll never come back to Bushla B. So it's just this funny little story. So let's do that again. Oh, once I went to Bushla B. That place was very bad for me. I went to a house with windows three and witches looking out at me. The first one said, come drink with me. The second one said, come eat with me. 
The third one took a great millstone and threw it at my right shin bone. Ouch, ouch, I said, you're hurting me. I'll never come back to Bushla B. Okay, crazy. Um, let's do the uh, let's do the bean bags. And um, while we're doing this, let's, let's just, we're going to sing the Peace Porridge Hot, but while we're at it, let's also practice that little quad labat from yesterday. So five minutes? Okay, perfect. Um, so we're going to sing Peace Porridge Hot, and then who wants to sing London Bridge? Okay. Okay, London Bridge, and Ram Sam Sam? Really Ram, Ram Sam Sam? Well, I'll do Ram Sam Sam with you. Or do you know it well enough? I don't know. Okay, so we'll do Ram Sam Sam, and then you three will do London Bridge. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're doing London Bridge. Right? We're doing London okay. Bridge. Okay. Oh, so London Bridge. Peace Porridge. Peace, Peace Porridge. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Peace Porridge hot. Peace Porridge cold. Peace Porridge in the pot. Nine days old. Some like it hot. Some like it cold. Some like it in the pot, nine days old. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold. Peas porridge in the pot, nine days old. London Bridge is falling down. Okay, let's, let's so, so keep singing. Peas porridge, just keep singing. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold. Peas porridge in the pot, nine days old. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gully 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 ram sam sam. A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gully 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 ram sam sam. A raffy, a raffy, gully 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 ram sam sam. A raffy, a raffy, gully 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 gully. Good. Could you hear it? Yeah. So there's really some sweet harmonies going on in there. Please put the bean deck on your right shoulder. And stand. Okay. And then take it off your right shoulder with your left hand. So we'll just run through the three we did yesterday and then we'll add the rainbow and that, that rounds out the four lower ones. A baker once was baking a lovely loaf of bread. He mixed together such a dough he made a cake instead. The queen she overheard him and had to wonder why. The king had not approached him to make instead a pie. Over and around in the very back corner lived an old maid with a great big nose. She dusted and she mopped till the whole palace sparkled. Then she turned around again on her great big nose. So the one that I didn't show you yesterday, which is the third exercise, is the rainbow. And I remember I had a verse for the rainbow. Do you know what, what yours is? Do you have one? Rainbows in the sky, okay. higher than birds fly. Okay, let's try it. So, um, and I want to say this one starts on the right hand. Do you know? I'll double check. I think that's right. I think it is too. Does I, it, I know it matters? It does matter. Oh, okay. Um, being back in right hand, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, and it's nice to, to turn them sideways. Not only are they going to have more room, but they're not all looking at each other, you know, like, watch this! <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, I just made it a pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So right hand, and um, what we're what we're looking for is an exchange directly overhead. So it's not out in front. It's not behind. There's control over it. And at first, it's just a simple pass and a bringing down. So you can imagine this picture of the rainbow. Okay. Go ahead. Rainbows in the sky, higher than birds fly. All the colors are one in the light of the sun. Nice. Since days of old, ending in pots of gold. Mmm, lovely. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so that's the third exercise of the bean bags. And then um, we have uh, Wee Willy Winky. So this time, let's just remember this is number four, um, keeping the back straight. So you're really having to work to get the leg up high enough to pass underneath without bending over to get it. Sorry about the dresses. So do what you can, and if okay. you can't, just, just laugh at us instead. Okay, and this is left hand. Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, rapping at the window, crying through the locks are all the children in their beds for it's past eight o'clock. Okay, and just to show you, the, 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 the waterfall is number five, and I did bring it to my class in about third grade. I didn't wait very long. It was about the, seemed like the right uh, range. So this one is um, lots of different descriptions of this as well. You could have um, pine cones falling or something, but you have, so what you're doing is, Number one, you want to make sure that the children who are wearing jackets with hoods <laughs> take them off or put their hoods up on their heads. Otherwise, they're just getting caught in their hoods. <laughs> and, um, and also, this is one where this, this is what a lot of the students will want to do. They'll want to just reach up and grab it. And that is completely not the point of this. The point of this is that you're dropping it behind the head and your, your lower hand is at the small of your back and you're catching it. So this one is a little more challenging. You'll hear a lot of beanbags falling on the floor during this exercise. But they get better over years. And I kept doing this one with my class all the way through eighth grade. Do you have a verse for this one? It's entangled with a lot of other Okay, things. I'll do the waterfall. 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 Gently flowing down. Waterfall. Waterfall tumbling to the ground. Okay, so just again having some kind of an image or a story that goes with each one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do we want to get these back? Let's let's do um, let's do the upside down again. Okay, and uh, before you throw, I want you to take a look around the circle and see if everybody's heads are turning pink. <laughs> Is everybody turning pink? On the count of 73. <laughs> uh, and the other thing I could, I mean, take this opportunity, you could, you could count by sixes with them and then throw on 36 or something like that. So you can, you can do whatever you want with it, make it mathematical. One, two, three. For, I haven't given you a number yet, have I? And we, and we really won't do 70. Let's do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. 10. Okay. Thank you. I think we're good.